Welcome to the educational program on the Accelerate Negative Pressure Wound Therapy Pump. The Accelerate Pump is indicated for use on patients with acute, chronic, partial thickness, or full thickness wounds. The Accelerate provides advanced technology using the industry standard negative 125 millimeters of mercury, but may be adjusted in increments of 1 millimeter to meet specific prescribing physician's order. To quickly ramp up or down, hold the up or down arrow key and the pressure setting can be changed in increments of 10 millimeters of mercury. Both continuous and variable negative pressure therapy settings are available and the Accelerate pump may also be programmed to deliver intermittent therapy if desired. The Accelerate system components include a pump to achieve negative pressure, a fluid collection canister, and a sealed dressing. This video program will demonstrate the setup and operation of the Accelerate negative pressure pump. Device Overview The Accelerate pump weighs less than 1.5 pounds and offers the flexibility of both bedside and ambulatory therapy. All information pertaining to pump operation is located on the front panel. The therapy mode icon is displayed in the upper left corner. Either a symbol C for continuous therapy or V for variable therapy is always displayed to indicate the type of therapy being delivered. The battery icon bars provide information on battery life. Battery life averages 10 to 20 hours depending on usage. When the battery reaches 2% life, the system will alarm. At this point, the battery typically has less than 30 minutes of life prior to the pump shutting down and should be plugged in to recharge. The accelerate can be charged by plugging the AC adapter into the AC port on the pump and into a wall outlet. It is recommended to charge the unit when being used at the bedside to keep the device fully charged. The accelerate takes only three hours to charge. The USB computer port is used to access the system software by a trained technician. The target treatment pressure reading, which is displayed in millimeters of mercury, is located on the main screen. To the right of the target pressure reading is the suction strength icon, which gives both a numeric and visual indication of the negative pressure being applied to the wound. The system status icon is indicated by a white check mark in a green box in the lower right hand corner of the screen. When the unit is functioning properly, the white check mark will be displayed in this green box. Should an alarm be activated, the check mark will be replaced with an exclamation mark in a red triangle. There are six buttons on the keypad used to enter pump settings. The on-off button is used to turn the device on and off. The up and down buttons are used to increase and decrease suction pressure. The up-down buttons are also used to scroll through screen menus. The Menu Select button brings up the system menu and allows the selection of desired pump functions. The Lock Unlock button locks the keypad, reducing the risk of tampering with the device settings. To lock the device, simply press and hold the Lock Unlock button and the Exit Cancel button simultaneously for 3 seconds. To unlock the keypad, simply repeat the same process. The keypad will now be locked and the lock icon will change to the lock position. To unlock the keypad, simply repeat the same process and the lock icon will change back to the unlocked position. Finally, the Exit Cancel button allows the user to exit the system menu and cancel current or selected functions. The Genodyne Asset tag is important and must remain on the unit in order to track the device as part of the compliance process. In addition, the Genodyne 800 number is clearly visible on the Asset tag should it be necessary to call for an in-service or support. Eyelets are located on both sides of the pump. These eyelets are used to connect the collection canister to the back of the pump. On the back of the pump is the vacuum connection port and is connected to the collection canister. Attaching the canister. 
The Accelerate Negative Pressure Wound Therapy Pump has canister sizes 200, 400, 600, and 800 cc's available. This provides maximum flexibility when matching canister size to patient drainage needs throughout the healing processes. To connect the canister to the pump, align the arms of the canister with the eyelets on the side of the pump, taking care to also align the vacuum connection port with the round opening at the top of canister. Gently snap the canister into place. Please note that the Accelerate Negative Therapy Pump should only be used in the vertical and upright position. If the device is laid on its side, the canister full alarm will sound and the device will shut off. To remove the canister, simply push in on the canister arms and gently remove canister from the pump. Dispose of the canister according to your facility's protocol. Programming Continuous Therapy To program continuous therapy, first turn the pump on by pushing and releasing the on-off button. Press the Menu Select button. The menu will appear. Now use the up or down button and choose the therapy mode function by pressing the menu select button. Select continuous and press the menu select button. Press the exit cancel button twice to return to the home screen. The C symbol will be displayed to indicate continuous negative pressure therapy. To quickly ramp up or down, hold the up or down arrow key and the pressure setting can be changed in increments of 10 millimeters of mercury. Variable Pressure Mode Programming The Accelerate Pump offers Variable Pressure Therapy, VPT, which provides a smooth transition between two different negative pressure environments throughout the therapy. Programming Variable Therapy to program variable therapy mode, turn the pump on by pushing and releasing the on-off button. Press the menu select button. The menu will appear. Now use the up or down button and choose the treatment mode function by pressing the menu select button once. Select the variable mode by using the up or down button and press the menu select button. Now scroll through the menu to set the treatment time and push the menu select button. Using the up or down button, set a treatment time. Press the menu select button to save the setting. The pump will return to the menu. Next, use the up or down button to select the up time on the menu. The up time is the time the pump will draw at a higher pressure setting. Press the menu select button again and then using the up and down arrows, set the time, 5 minutes, required for the pump to draw at the higher pressure. Press menu select to confirm the time and scroll to the up pressure on the menu. Press menu select again to set the up pressure. Use the up or down arrows to set the up pressure, negative 80 millimeters of mercury. The pump is now programmed to draw at a rate of negative 80 millimeters of mercury for 5 minutes during the up pressure cycle. To set the downtime, use the up or down button to select downtime on the menu. Press menu select again and using the up and down buttons, set the downtime at 2 minutes. This means the pump will draw at the lower pressure for 2 minutes before switching back to the higher pressure. To set the down pressure, scroll to the down pressure. Press menu select and use the up or down buttons to set the down pressure to negative 40 millimeters of mercury. Now press the menu select button again to confirm the setting. To exit the programming mode, push the exit cancel button three times or simply hold it for five seconds. The pump will display a check mark in a green box in the lower right hand corner of the home screen during the course of therapy if all systems are working properly. The Accelerate pump provides alarms for the following situations. A leak alarm indicates that there is a leak in either the dressing or canister. A low battery alarm, which indicates that the battery has less than 2% of the fully charged battery level. 
A blockage alarm alerts the user to a blockage between the wound dressing and the canister. Canister alarm indicates that the canister is full and should be changed. Critical battery alarm, which indicates that the battery has less than 1% of the fully charged battery level and requires the user to plug in the power adapter to charge the battery and use the machine. Note that the pump will not work when the battery is depleted to this level until a power adapter is connected. When the Accelerate Negative Pressure Therapy pump enters into alarm status, the check mark and green box in the lower right-hand corner of the screen will switch to an exclamation point in a red triangle. There will also be an audible alarm. To silence the alarm, the user would press the Menu Select button. The last eight alerts will be displayed on the screen. Highlight the last alert notification on the list, which will appear on the top of the list, and press the Menu Select button. The alert bell will stop once the alert is acknowledged. The asterisk next to the alert notification will not disappear until the problem is resolved. Once the problem has been resolved, press the Exit Cancel button and hold for 5 seconds to return to the home screen and resume therapy. At this point, the green check mark will be displayed in the bottom right corner of the main screen when the alarm has been resolved and the system is working normally. The Accelerate Negative Pressure Pump provides effective negative pressure therapy for both bedside and ambulatory applications when negative pressure therapy is chosen to speed wound healing for your patient. Genadyne provides 24-hour, 7-day-a-week clinical support.